Carl Caveman adds chilled grog to his new granite mug. He removes 10.9 kilojoules of energy from the mug. If it has a mass of 625 grams and was at 25 degrees Celsius, what is its new temperature? All right, so we have our standard equation for adding heat using specific heat. And we are just going to plug some things in and solve for it. Now, I am going to put this energy in in joules rather than kilojoules. So it's actually 10,900 joules. And I do that because my specific heat of 0.79 has units of joules in it, and I want to make sure they're the same. And that's going to help them, those two cancel out. Now, I'm also going to make sure my mass is in grams so it cancels out. And then to make this math really easy, I'm going to put this in as final minus initial. And the initial temperature was 25 degrees. All right, now, before I actually start plugging that in, I just wrote down 10,900. But if you notice up here, it says it removes it. So I do want to put that in as a negative. And something I'm going to do in my thought process to make sure I, I understand what's going on. Uh, since I know it's going to a new temperature, I just want to look at this and think of logic. What does it mean is going to happen to the temperature? When we're putting something cold into a mug, we are expecting the final temperature to be less than 25. So... If we do the math wrong and end up something larger, we just know that we messed up on that sign somewhere. All right, but got a good starting point. So I'm gonna take that 10,900. I'm gonna divide it by 0.79 and by the 625. And I get this wonderful number and it should be negative. I didn't put that negative in there and that should be equal to TF minus 25. So what I'm going to do is take that 25 and subtract that number because that's what it should have been. It should have had a negative in front of it. And I get 2.9. Or since I really only have that ones place because of significant figures on this number, I would say the answer has to be 3 degrees Celsius.